Hello again, whiskey friends. Welcome back to the channel. This is Kelsey in the Whiskey Riff Lounge coming to you with a head-to-head -head battle. Actually, it's a head-to-head-to-head -to -head -to -head battle. We're going to put these weeders against each other. We've got Weller's Special Reserve. We've got Bardstown Bourbon Company's new weeded bourbon that's six years old. And we've got Green River's uh, weeded bourbon that was just released. So that's what we're going to get into. I can't wait to see who comes out top. I'm going to do this blind and then reveal the scores that I did when I knew what they were and see if they match up. So this should be a fun one. So stick around. You're not going to want to miss this one. Let's kick off the show. Welcome back, everybody. If you're new to the channel, thank you for coming, and um, be sure to hit the like and subscribe, everybody. And if you're coming back, welcome back. Today, we're going to be doing a head-to-head-to-head. -to -head -to -head. Uh, kind of thought about this as I was doing a review of two of these, and I was like, well, why don't I just do all three and rank them blind and see if what I think that they taste like and score versus what they actually, if I pick the right one, I guess, because one stood out way above the others. So we'll get into that, uh, but again, this is what we're doing today. We're doing Weller Special Reserve. We are doing versus Bardstown Origin Series Weeded Bourbon, Bottled and Bond, six-year weeder. Um, it's all their own juice. And then Green River Distillate uh, Weeded Bourbon. Uh, it's 90 proof. Um, and then um, Weller is 90 as well. So we've got one that's a little bit more proofy than the others, but I feel like it's somewhat of a similar profile. So we'll uh, we'll see which one comes out on top. So again, this is all blind. I'll show you the scores that I did later in the video of scoring these when I knew what they were. But this is totally blind. My wife poured these. I don't know what they are, which one is which yet. So we're just going to do A, B, and C. And then uh, we'll find out which one actually came out on top and see if it matches what um, what I picked uh, originally. So here is sample A. Cheers, you guys. So on sample A, it's real light and delicate on the nose. You got that kind of sweet, weeded note that's typically there. It's really not jumping out of the glass at me. So let's go on to B and see how it stacks up on the nose. Wow, this one's way more fruit forward um, off of the nose. Like Smarties fruit. I don't know if getting that lot of, a note a lot lately on certain fruit things, but it does. It smells like Smarties to me. It's very fruit forward. It's got a really pleasant nose. So let's check C. Sorry, guys. Um, see where it stacks up. So far, I mean, I think B stands out on the nose. This one is very nice as well. It just doesn't jump out of the glass these are all a little bit more muted than uh b is on the nose yeah um you can get a little bit of fruit a little bit of baking spices a little bit of caramel but nothing really like jumps out at you on that so let's go to the palette and see how a is on the palette Man, that's really good. Um, really sweet up front. Not a lot of spice. Kind of falls off towards the finish. But very pleasant. Very easy to drink. Um, I was going to see if it changed on the nose after tasting, but it does bring alive a little bit of the nose after you taste it. If you haven't done that before, if you're new to whiskey, one thing I would encourage you to do when you're nosing and tasting is if you just nose and then taste, go back to the nose and see if there's anything that jumps more out at you after you taste it. 
So let's go in for a second sip and let's see how consistent. Pretty consistent. Um, good front palate, sweet up front, mid palate, kind of lingers off a little bit. And by the finish, you guys, it's uh, basically gone. I mean, it's it's really fast, um, but nothing unpleasant. Nothing not um, nothing that sticks out that's bad or unpleasant about it. So let's go on to B um, and see where this stacks up. This is the one that was more fruit forward. And coming off of A, the fruit is kind of down down a little bit on the nose, but it does it's still there. So let's go in for the taste. Oh, yeah. Sweet up front. This one tastes a little bit more of an oak profile in the mid palate uh, to the finish. It's still not a super long finish, but it is very good. Um, it is very mouth coating on this glass. It's just coating the glass really well. So it has a little bit more viscosity to it. Yeah. I mean, none of these are going to be disappointing for anybody that tries these. I feel like for the, if you can find them at retail, so retail on these, um, Weller's like $27. Um, Green River's 36. And I think Bardstown is right around 40 bucks. So all relatively easy on the budget, but also, um, easy to drink and enjoyable to drink. Let's go in for a second sip to see how consistent. Yeah, man, that's good. That's just a um, nice fruit forward caramel, a little bit of oak on the finish. It's not super long, but it's not falling off like the first one was on A. Um, let's go in to see. Again, it's a little bit more bready on the nose. Um, more like fried dough, I guess, rather than bread just a little bit of fruit um gonna get my nose acclimated and see if it comes out more so yeah it's kind of that fried dough that's not been cooked all the way yet spices up front oh man that's good so again, sweet up front, transitions to the mid palate of a little bit of spice, not a whole lot at all. Uh, sometimes weeders can actually be spicy. Everybody talks about how soft wheat is, but sometimes like a wheat whiskey is really spicy sometimes, but this is a weeded bourbon. So it kind of doesn't have that typical wheat spice that I get sometimes on just a straight wheat whiskey. Um, so yeah, the nose comes out a little bit more after tasting, too. Some of those notes are more prominent. Vanilla and oak and fruit come out a little bit more. There's just a hint, I mean, just a hint, and it could just be my palate today, but of nut. I mean, just a teeny tiny bit. And I wouldn't say it's peanut. I would say it's more walnut on the nose than peanut. Yeah, man, that's good. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to rinse, uh, take a minute here, reset, and I'm going to go back the opposite direction. So I'm going to go C to A uh, and see how they stack up again. So here's C again. Cheers, everybody. Thanks for sticking around. I know this is going to be a little bit of a longer video. So C is very mouth coating. It's a little softer, but it is very viscous. It's coating this glass as well. That's something that I didn't pick up on the first way through just after getting some water. I'm going to rinse each time going through this time and see if that affects it as well because each whiskey can influence the other. So I'm trying to get a fair assessment for you guys.
man, this one B is getting so much more fruit forward on it. It's getting sweeter. Man, that time on the nose is almost like the sweet tart gushers. If you guys have had those, those fruitiness where it kind of explodes in that fruit forward. Um, really digging this one a lot. The mouthfeel is, is very coating as well as C was too. Both of these were a lot more mouth coating and viscous than A on the first round. So let's go back through. Let me get some water. We're going to go back through to A and then I'll find out which one is my favorite. And then we'll actually show the scores of what I ranked each one of these when I wasn't blind and see if it actually compares or see if I look like an idiot. Most likely I'm going to look like an idiot, but that's okay. Yeah, that almost comes off a little bit with a T-note, which is odd. I don't ever remember getting that on any of these. But just like a black tea, like maybe a black and sweet tea, not super sweet, but just a little bit of a black tea note, which is weird. Yeah, that's odd. Um, again, nothing unpleasant about any one of these. They're all good whiskeys for the price point. Um, I feel like one of these originally stood out more than the others to me. So I'm hoping that that does the same way whenever I go through the blind and see which one wins. So for me, A is definitely last place. So let me go uh, B and C and see which one that I like better here. So this is C in my right hand, your left, and B. Mm. Yeah, I love that fruitiness on that one. Man, they're both really, really good. Going at this blind, not knowing what anyone was, I think that it's just a barely above. Uh, it wasn't as high as I scored it, I think, whichever one it is. Um, but this one, B, to me, stands out way uh, above A. And then B and C are pretty close to one another. only thing that I don't prefer as much on C is that little bit of nut note. Um, but B to me is just my jam. It's fruit forward, got a lot of nice little finish on it. And it's uh, got a little bit of oak and really stands out to me of the three of these. So let's find out what these are. Again, my wife poured these blinds, so I don't know what each one of these are. So last place was A. So let's see. Ooh, this is going to be interesting. Okay. So my A was the, I, sorry, the glasses are all screwed up. The Bardstown glass. Bardstown was um, the BBC. Interesting. Wow. That's the one that I thought would stand out above the others, to be honest. So let's look. The clear glass was my favorite. So let's go to Hoka Town glass, which is this one. Hoka Town was Green River Weeded. So that was really super close. And I'm really disappointed to know that Weller beat these. <laughs> wow. I really liked Weller. That's surprising to me because it scored the lowest. So let's look at the slides here. Um, so uh, <laughs> Weller scored the lowest, but I liked it the best. That's crazy. So 63, which is a good whiskey. I mean, it, it, don't get me wrong. It's good. But this just proves doing something blind can really surprise you. And I know you guys have heard many YouTubers say this, but man, do this stuff blind because even – like having and scoring this very, very uh, efficiently and very in depth uh, sometimes doesn't always prove uh, to be uh, unbiased. So, yeah, that's crazy. Um, wow. Okay. So that was Weller's score of 63. Now, Green River was very, very close for me to Special Reserve as far as what I liked. Like, I felt like those two. Um, 
those two were actually closer. And I actually thought A was Weller Special Reserve, but it wound up being the Bardstown Origin Series, which is crazy to me because I love that. So Green River scored a 76, and then um, Bardstown scored an 82. <laughs> so that, again, man, like I just, I'm telling you blind, it just makes me look like an idiot. That's okay. I don't mind looking like an idiot. I've been called worse. So uh, to wrap up, guys, I really like these blind, um, doing it blind, but the one that I, that I picked was Weller, which is crazy. Um, because I thought going in the Bardstown was definitely going to be the top runner and then Green Reaver and then we, the Weller. So again, all of these are great pours. I will say if this is in your area, man, you need to be sure to pick this Green River stuff up. It is really good. Bardstown is very good as well. Obviously I scored it really high, but for some reason it did, didn't come together, um, as high whenever I was tasting them blind. So again, that's the reason we do things blind. Um, thank you guys for tuning in. Um, so we will uh, go back here to full screen. Yeah, I'm very technology efficient. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Such a great battle. Everything kind of surprised me a little bit. I'm going to go back through after the get through this video and look and see knowing now knowing what they are if i can see why i picked one or the other but cheers to you guys thanks so much for all your support thanks for sticking around for a super long video but i think that it will surprise you doing these blind which one you might end up picking so thanks so much guys we'll see you next time jeff just be friends with me but you have these whiskey friends and you say hello again oh jeffrey you just be friends with me But you have these whiskey friends And you say hello again Oh Jeffrey, you Should just be friends with me But you have these